I'm going to tell you exactly how to plan your Roblox game and actually finish it. First, you're going to need to make a document detailing everything about your game. This is called a game design document in game development. Now, these are usually very complex, but it really doesn't need to be. You can do this with Google Docs pretty easily. And this just includes writing the full idea of your game down to all the main components. So you just need a few main parts in your game design document. So first, you're going to need to describe what genre your game is and the general idea of your game and how it will be played in a few simple sentences. This is just the game concept. Then make sure to add plenty of images and detail to explain what your game will be like and make sure to add links to games you want to inspire from for your game. Next, you're going to want to write the section that describes the main features of your game, including all the modes, mechanics, monetization, meaning how you're going to make money off the game. So your game passes, developer products, all of those, you want to plan that out here. And you also want to plan out the controls and the UI. And you want to make sure that you write down how you will make it different from other games that are similar as well, including the build models, all the different things you script and the animations. So after that, you're going to want to write everything that you'll need made for the game, including the builds, models, system scripted, animations, and everyone who will be on your team that will take care of each aspect. Now, I know this is a very brief description of something very complicated, so I'll probably make a video going over how to make a game design document step by step in the future once I make sure I'm um, more educated on it so I can give you guys the best possible guide I just need to do a bit more research but yeah make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it but I got a lot more advice for you guys especially the last tip in this video so stick around so a second you're gonna need to plan how everyone will be paid in your team so if you already have a team picked out you need to figure out how how the payment is going to be split up between all your teammates between your developer team this is very important because you don't want things to get messy later when uh, the game's already out and it's making money because it just causes a lot of issues and you want to have this set out in stone before you release the game if you have the funds already you can pay everyone in a flat rate in robux or usd or cash or whatever currency you have uh you could even do an hourly wage if you have the money for it and if, if that's what your team wants to do so just make sure everything is just very clear because it can get messy later third you want to make a trello so a trello is just a bunch of uh lists with cards that describe the tasks needed in your project so uh, after you've made your game design document or gdd for short and gotten your team on board with payment and the overall concept and everything you'll take all the things that need to be done from it and put them into a trello board you can also do this on google on a google doc with check boxes which is honestly what i prefer to do but trello is a lot more interactive so a lot of people like it better so the link to trello will be in the description so all you're going to do is make a list for each different uh section of development or each team member whichever you choose and each list could be named ui scripting building modeling animation etc that kind of thing so to create a new board on trello just click here and make the board um and now we can add new lists by clicking on the add another list button then you can add a card to the board by clicking the add a card button on the bottom of the board and then you just type in the name of the task and you can click on the card to add more detail to it and doing this on google docs is a whole lot more straightforward you just click this button right here to add check boxes and you can click enter to go to a new line. If you wanna add stuff in between, you can just click enter twice and it'll make a space for you to add more stuff. If you wanna add more detail to a certain section or an image or something. If you click tab on a checkbox, you can indent it to make sort of like lists below one uh, checkbox. There's a lot of formatting options in Google Docs. I won't get too into it. It's very useful to be able to indent multiple times. And after you planned your game out, it is time to start working. So this is where we get into actually finishing your game, because if you don't finish your game, it's never going to be out. And the whole goal should be to finish your game. When, when you plan your game, it the whole point is to make sure that everything's laid out so that it can be as straightforward as possible for everyone working on the game so you can actually finish it. So you want to make the map and the UI preferably first and then have the scripter or scripters on your team wrap up the game put it together script all the systems ensure everything works properly and is organized so that roblox studio is in a mess when you go to update it that's very important finishing your game is really hard but you must remember you got to stay focused on the project play, take 
plenty of breaks when you need it. And you know, you need to remember that ma making a game is a huge task most of the time, and you're gonna need to take breaks on it. It will help you finish. Even if it doesn't feel productive in the moment, it's definitely productive because when you take a break, you can come up with so many good ideas. You'll be able to come back and get done 10 times the amount of work if you're tired or burnt out. Just don't stress yourself out and focus on having fun because especially if you aren't doing this for a full-time job, it's definitely important that you do not take the game too seriously because it will just stress you out too much. I've definitely been in that position before and um, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. You want to stay having fun in it. Otherwise, it's more likely that you're going to quit, which um, will never you'll never start making money on the game or anything if you quit. So it's very important. Now, something else that will help you finish is setting deadlines for you and your team. So at the beginning of the project, it might be too soon to set a release date. But by deadlines, I mostly mean setting deadlines on specific tasks. So for, for example, you might want to build the lobby within, um, you know, the time span of next week. But just setting certain deadlines on certain parts of your game and certain little projects involving your game will help you finish the big final product. If you were able to add deadlines to every single task in your game and actually hit them, that would be the ideal way to work. But it's very hard to do that. But if you can do that, that is the way I would go because you would get a lot done. Just make sure that the people you're working with agree with the deadlines you set, by the way. It can be hard to motivate other people while working on a project. So you need to include them with every single step of the process. And yeah, so this might be a don't task planning out your whole game and seeing everything you have to do but it makes it so much easier having a team to work with so i'm going to be making a video that shows how to find developers to work with because that will make it a whole lot easier but in the meantime make sure to check out my video that's on screen on how to set up a twitter and get your work out there this will help you get a head start finding team members and getting a team together to work on your game see you guys there